I'm Tristram Shandy, the main character in this story, the leading role. The trouble with writing a book about yourself is you can't fool around. Why not? People fool around with themselves all the time. There are those who say this is a cock and bull story. This is the very latest. His head, then we merely... Thank you. OK, move the set piece, please. Steve Coogan, this is the book that many people say is unfilmable. Tristram Shandy, it was actually number eight on the top 100 books of all time. That was a chronological list. Right. OK, lower him down. Got to be able to kick and stretch. That's what feet I yeah, do. Not, not when they're full term. He wants realism. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a grown man talking to the camera in a womb. <laughs> Whoa, easy! thing is, I can't act. I know that. With Gillian Anderson. You interest me strangely. I have a sexual thing for Gillian Anderson. <sighs> Rob now has a bigger part than me. This is a co-lead. We'll see after the edit. This is the beginning of all my woes. Have a look at the colour. It's what I call not white. Actually, it's a nice colour. I think you decorated child's nursery in this colour. Very sorry about the other night. It was last night, actually. Oh. Why did we want to spend a year of our lives making this film? Is it funny? <laughs> Good Lord, what is this story all about? It's a great love story. It's about the impossibility of actually connecting with another human being. Is that not enough? If it's genuinely funny, that is enough. The theme of Tristram Shandy is a very simple one. Life is chaotic. No matter how hard you try, you can't make it fit any shape. The 18th century men just didn't do that. It'd be like the scene in Robin Hood where Kevin Costner delivers a baby. <laughs> He's got a stupid mullet haircut. <laughs> <laughs>